The Sea to Sky Corridor is a region of BC on the unceded territories of the Lilloat and Stuwamish First Nations, encompassing the mountain towns of Squamish, Whistler, and Pemberton. The surrounding peaks are the first structure hit by coastal storms rolling off the Pacific Ocean to the west. World renowned for its steep, glaciated peaks, old growth forests, and endless powder snow. Adventurers and thrill seekers were drawn to this valley, and now, over 50 years later, this corridor, once unknown and unexplored by those on skis, is considered a backcountry skiing mecca. Here is the story of how this valley shaped them by forming a connection to the land and inspiring a life of adventure. They say that home is where the heart is, and in these mountains, Kai has found his home. Raised by these giants, friendships have been forged amongst their peaks. Friendships based on the unwavering hold these mountains have on them. One must tread wisely, knowing that this land can offer you the greatest gifts of all, often fleeting, always tantalizing, or shatter that peace in an instant. I think having options here um, gave us the opportunity to be always skiing and uh, always learning how the, the terrain changes and um, just the fact that we have a coastal climate. The terrain features here are more unique to that. You start riding the mountain a certain way and kind of letting the mountain guide the way you ride it. Trying and learning and uh, failing and then going back and getting a piece of the cake.
my god. This cabin holds memories of their youth, with days spent doing as kids do. Playing, laughing, enjoying. childlike curiosity lives on, now realizing the potential at their doorstep. The urge to explore has grown, along with their stature. Get out of here. With their passion now ignited, they're drawn back into the geography that formed them as they pursue the undiscovered descents of their dreams. People go into the mountains and come out of the mountains, or they don't. The mountains deserve a lot of respect and patience. For the most part, you are just listening to what they want you to do. I don't think we went out looking for first descents or looking to be the first people to do anything. I think it was just more that we were trying to find new places to ride that we hadn't, and finding those connections to the mountains taking on new terrain and learning how to approach it, and that's a big part of it. Mill surface horse riding on some old possible melt freeze. It sounds pretty icy, really. The wind has definitely loaded, uh, loaded a few of these pockets, but I think, uh, I think we can ski cut this and uh, take this first run cautious enough. Copy that, all cameras 100%. Three, two, one, drop it. First line of Barney Bay.
we go back to the lodge then? Kind of getting hungry. Remote and untapped, this allows a disconnect from the world of instant gratification, an analog gold mine, if you will. It exists on maps, folded and refolded over time. Time spent studying and dreaming of new routes and adventures that await. What lies before them is Mother Nature in her finest form. Not for the faint-hearted or the weak-willed, but for those who have been preparing their entire lives for this opportunity. Going out there, you gotta be with a tight group, a good crew, because uh, you know, you just, everything is new and you don't know what to expect. A lot of being ready for it, you know, like being like, you know those two days are gonna come, but you don't know when they are, and being there at the right time is, uh, is, is difficult. It's so close to home, but it feels so far. I think this is that zone I uh, found on the map. I'll circle around, you guys can have a look at the face here. Cow and ten. Sure, but uh, heads up, there's some pretty heavy sloughing. When you do get 
the line of your life and that you search to find, it becomes a much more special thing. had looked at that zone it may be the last corner of the south coast that really hasn't been touched with patience and gratitude we can share in the chance to continue our mountainous journey a lifelong journey formed each step of the way <laughs> that was really graceful Anyways, out there? Couple. <laughs> Through my land, I thought. <laughs> 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 <laughs>